guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are once again going to be talking about the Heartland Season 14 Extended Trailer. And if you have not seen the Extended Trailer yet for Heartland Season 14, I highly, highly recommend you do. I will leave a link down in the description for you guys to go watch it. Uh, just be prepared to cry, scream, and be very confused. And that's coming from someone who has watched the trailer like 50 times. And no... I am not kidding. This trailer uh, for Heartland season, season 14, it's very different. It's very dramatic. It's more dramatic than anything that Heartland has ever done before. And while I think that that is good, and it gives me a lot of um, room to speculate what is going to happen in the next season of Heartland. I don't know how the majority of Heartland fans are going to react to seeing such a dramatic trailer, um, especially being um, season 14 being filled with speculation already regarding um, Graham Wardle's lack of involvement and Ty's possible death in Heartland season 14. I don't know how the majority of the Heartland community is going to react or has reacted to seeing such a dramatic trailer because, again, it is very different from anything we have ever seen from Heartland in the past 13 years and the 13 seasons. Um, I think it's good because it's something different that we haven't seen before. It allows for... Uh, new storylines, possible new characters, and just a lot of character development for main characters such as Amy, Jack, Lou, Tim, Georgie, and Quinn. Um, but this trailer, if you guys have not seen it, it it is very, very, very dramatic. I know, I know I've said that like 80 times already in this video, and this video is only 2 minutes long so far, uh, but I... It's shocking how dramatic this trailer is. And this that's coming from me, someone who loves watching uh, dramatic TV shows and someone who loves being um, in suspense when watching TV shows and uh, wanting to know what happens and loving like dramatic storylines and stuff. This trailer is one of the most dramatic trailers I've seen in a very long time. Um, but I'm going to break this trailer down the best I can and talk about... Um, something that I had not even thought about before, and that is the idea of Ty being a ghost in Heartland Season 14. But before I get into that, I need to remind you guys to please leave a like on this video if you enjoy, and to subscribe, my ch subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, to help me reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers. If you guys hear a, a lot of background noise, I'm sorry, like, we're having, like, a rainstorm right now where I live, so, unfortunately, there may be some background noise. I can't. I'm sorry, I hate when there's background noise in videos, but can't do anything about the weather, unfortunately. So, um, when it comes to this trailer, um, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions, obviously. I have watched this trailer 30 times since I posted this, since I posted my video yesterday. I've watched the trailer 30 more times. No, I'm not kidding. I have analyzed this trailer frame by frame, second by second, millisecond by millisecond, trying to understand this trailer, trying to comprehend what I just watched. Because this trailer, a lot happens. Um, and in today's video, as I said, I'm going to be talking about Ty being a ghost mainly. Um, but before I get into all that, I need to remind you guys as well that I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated with Heartland. I don't work for CBC. I don't know cast or crew. I know nothing. I repeat. I know nothing. Absolutely nothing that is going to happen in Heartland Season 14. Everything I say in this video is just my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. So, with that being said, nothing that I say in this video is confirmed to be happening in Heartland Season 14. Now, as we take a deeper look at this trailer, at this extended trailer for Heartland Season 14, there is a lot that happens. And in this video, as I said, I'm going to be focusing on Ty's character because I think there's a lot of 
speculation surrounding what is going to happen with his character in Heartland Season 14 because of the lack of involvement from Grand Mortal as we go into Heartland Season 14. But looking at this extended trailer, there's a lot that we see happen. Um, that we see Ty and Amy, which is great. Maybe. We see uh, Amy with what I'm who I'm guessing is uh, Caleb and Cass's baby. We see Caleb get seriously injured, possibly even get killed when he falls off a bronc, which I have so many questions about that as well. And we also see Jack. We see a new character. We see Lindy. And we see Tim. Now, that is basically all the main characters, which is fantastic. I love when trailers do that. They show you every single main character or the characters that are going to be main characters in that specific season, which I love. However, when I saw the trailer and I saw all the main characters, one of the biggest questions that came to my mind when I was watching it the first time is how is Ty going to be a main character? And then there's a part in the trailer, it, it's at the end of the trailer, or kind of the end of the trailer, middle to the end of the trailer, and um, Amy is talking to Jack, and she says that nightmares and memories and dreams have been keeping her up at night, and she wants everything to go back to the way it was before. And Jack said, I can't promise you that those dreams and nightmares and memories will stop. Um, and I have so many questions about that specific dialogue. I'm just like, okay, great. Well, being a TV show and movie reviewer and, and someone who um, has spent the past year analyzing and thinking about Heartland Season 14 and talking about dramatic storylines. If you guys have been watching my channel for the past year as I've been uh, talking about Heartland Season 14 and coming up with ideas and stuff, then you know that I have talked about dramatic storylines before. I've talked about Ty dying. I've talked about Amy and Ty getting a divorce. I've talked about um, characters dying in Season 14. But I can honestly say I never, ever thought it was going to happen. I never thought a season of Heartland could get this depressing, dark, and dramatic. This is something completely different for Heartland. And going by the trailer, which is all I have to go by right now, because Heartland Season 14 Episode 1 has not aired yet, I am shocked. I've, I've said that 80 times. I'm aware of that, but I, I, I don't know how, how else to comprehend the trailer because it's just so different from anything we have seen uh, from Heartland during or over the past 13 seasons. I am super excited. But when it comes to Ty's character, I found it interesting that we saw him in the trailer because I was like, how is he going to be a main character if Graham Wardle is only in one or two episodes? And then I was reading the comments on the extended trailer that was posted on the official Heartland YouTube page. And a lot of the comments said that maybe Ty is a ghost or spirit. And as I was rewatching the trailer again after think after reading those comments and I was watching it trying to figure out if that's a possibility, I think it's a very 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 high possibility and it's a very different storyline than what we've seen before. Although we have seen the ghost horse and we saw the episode in season 13 where Will Vernon died, and then uh, Jack kind of saw him, sort of, uh, in a ghost slash spirit form. So it is possible, um, and I think it's very possible, and we've seen it on Heartland before, but only very little. We haven't seen it um, with a main character, and I don't think you can get any more main character than with Amy or Ty. So I was watching the extended trailer again, 
but thinking about that and I was like this makes a lot of sense um now this is just my opinion I think that the scene that starts off the extended trailer with Amy and Ty um, in the kitchen there's Amy and Ty and Lindy and Amy says I love you Ty and then Ty says I love you too and then he's like well I gotta get going now or something I think that is the first episode I think that is that scene I think takes place in Heartland season 14 episode 1 and I think that that is the scene that starts everything. I, I'm not sure if that's the first scene of the first episode of the um, 14th season, but I do think that that scene is in fact in the first episode. And then I think that the fire explosion scene that we see next in the trailer, and you see Tim on the phone talking to Lou saying that the fire is spreading fast, and that she needs to stay on top of this. Yes, I have that scene memorized. And I have this entire trailer dialogue memorized. Is that a problem? I don't know. You can decide for me. It's not going to change the fact that I have it memorized. But you guys can decide. Have I watched this trailer too many times? I don't know. Anyway, I think that scene of the fire explosion also happens in the first episode. I don't think that it is the immediate scene, fo the, the immediate next scene following um, the scene with Ty and Amy, but I do think that it is in the first episode. Um, and I'm very, very curious about that scene. I'm wondering um, how it happens, what it is, and how it's going to affect affect the story going forward in Heartland season, season 14. But I do think that Ty somehow is involved with that, and I do think, unfortunately, he passes away. Now, the reason that I think that the whole Ty being a ghost slash spirit thing is a high possibility is because the Heartland writers and the Heartland cast and everyone under the sun who was involved with the creation and making and filming and writing process and the Heartland season 14 production process, they are aware that Amy and Ty are the reason that a lot of fa a lot of fans watch Heartland. I am aware of that. You guys have told me that many times. Many of you have told me that many times. So they know that if they kill off Ty and he is no longer present at all, then the show is just dead. It's straight up dead. It's it's basically just forget about a season 15. If Ty's dead, the show's over. They are aware of that. So I think the whole Ty coming back as a ghost thing is, or that idea, is so that Ty can still be present in the show and he can still have a presence in the show. Um, but I think that it, that, that storyline also opens up more character development for Amy, more character development for all the characters involved because it is in fact a death of a main character which is going to dramatically affect the show going forward. There is no doubt about that. But it also keeps Ty in the show, just not as much. And I think the whole um, Amy, you know, maybe the memories haunting her or the the um, dreams that are keeping her up at night are something to do with Ty. I think that's the only thing that makes sense. And then in the trailer as well, you also see Ty's mom, Lily, come back. And she seems to be, it seems to me like she's talking to Amy. Um, and she says that he needed help. Why can't you see when people need help, not just horses? People need help, not just horses or Something like that. That's basically what I gathered from what she was saying. So I'm very interested to see um, the conversations and the events leading up to Lily's arrival and what happens. Um, I do know, however, that whenever Lily is uh, in Heartland, from um, everything that I can remember from previous seasons, something bad always happens. And... She seemed really upset, and it looked to me like she was kind of crying in the trailer. Um, that could just be me 
overthinking or overanalyzing, but hey, this is what I do. So I think the tie being a ghost idea or a spirit is very interesting because it allows the story to move forward without the character of Ty Borden being present and without Graham Wardle needing to be um, involved as much with the story um, of Heartland going forward and the seasons going forward and the storylines going forward, but the character of Ty is still present in the show. Does that make sense? I don't know. That That is just what I think of it. I think that it is a very interesting story decision and storyline decision and character development decision uh, going forward. But as I said in the beginning of this video, and I will continue to say it as we wait for Heartland Season 14 Episode 1 to premiere um, on CBC on January 10th, I will continue to say this. This season of Heartland is very different from anything that we have ever seen uh, in Heartland before over the past 13 seasons. It is very dramatic, very dark, and very depressing going by this trailer. But I enjoy TV shows like that. It gives me more to speculate on. I've been talking for about 11 minutes already in this clip, and I filmed a previous clip before this, so I have no idea how long this video is, but I have so many questions um, about this trailer. I haven't, I haven't even talked about Lou and Peter and Mitch and the whole scene with Lou and the ring, and was that her wedding ring with Peter, or was an engagement, was it an, was it an engagement uh, ring from Mitch? I have no idea. I haven't even talked about that yet, but guess what? We're gonna have to wait for another video for that topic, because I will honestly talk about that for like three hours, because my brain, when watching that scene, I was just like, uh, okay, all right, okay, don't freak out. Is she getting married to Mitch, or did she get back together with Peter? I don't know. And I cannot wait to find out. And I am just going to go rewatch the trailer another 40 times to try to figure it out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the idea of Ty being a ghost or spirit in Heartland Season 14. Let me know what you guys think of that storyline. Would you be okay with it? Would you continue to watch if that was the case? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Good. Bye.